So young. He's still starting with his angle, which is forcing him to go and shovel from underneath. Also, what I don't like is the follow through. He makes his uh, pronation follow through. Some people call it pronation, like on the surf here, which is having an opposite effect, negative effect, because the, the ball is coming kind of with an inside out rotation. So when you hit it, it's going up and not inside of the court. When you do that, you can see the difference. Djokovic does that a little bit, and Federer does this, and that gives a special horizontal topspin the ball. You can hit it as hard as you want, and it still goes in the court. So we will start, we will break down the shot in a few parts to make it better. Okay, yeah. So three shots, you have to play from here. So I have to teach him to play with a straight arm because right now he's just slapping it. So he's gonna hit three shots like that. After that, he's gonna hit three shots forwards and then he has to hold the racket with the left hand. Like this. Und dann mal. Guck. Schlagen. Und dann so. So he needs to check his racket is in the line with his elbow and forearm on the right hand. Yeah? And third part is going to be starting from here. So I want him to keep the spitz, the top of the racket, not behind or anywhere behind the shoulder line, but up front. So he's going to start from here, get to this position and then hit it forward, check the wrist. And the fourth part is going to be the beginning, keeping the elbow up, which is gonna help him to keep the straight arm later on, okay? So we're gonna turn directly like that instead of this. All right? Yeah, so let's do three balls each. We'll start with the straight arm, okay? Straight arm, yeah? Don't hit it too hard. Make sure you go 60% craft. Thank <laughs> you. 
Four minutes. 